That is some beautiful rainfall. Take a moment, if you will, and come with me to the land of sleep, where you can sleep forever. Close your eyes. Okay, guys, this is not an ASMR video. Stop that. Anyway, speaking of which, I forgot to, re to subscribe to Relaxogen again. So you know how I told you the other time that YouTube unsubscribed me from everybody? So now everybody that I'm subscribed to isn't anymore. Wait, oh, that's right. <laughs> Whoops, I did that in the wrong order. There was a certain other power-up that I was thinking of that I was trying to charge up. But spoilers there. And here we are, this guy again. Wait, you have to scan all three of these? I thought you only had to do the first one. And then it counted towards all three. Then again, it's three different temples we're talking about here, so... It would make sense that each statue is different in its own right, has different properties, represents a different area. I wouldn't, you wouldn't go and scan Vladimir Putin and then scan, you know, another president. I don't even know if he is a president, actually. I'm stupid. That name just came to mind. I might be thinking of something else. I probably most definitely am. Oh, hi, it's a holographic projector. I didn't scan the other thing where, like, the thing that you put your arm in, either, to give the energy back. So, too bad. It's the Green Man. A great warrior comes to the Temple of Tolvas. May you succeed where I failed. I am Avok, the last sentinel of this temple. I am also the lead singer of Rascal Flat. Heed my words carefully. Fast cars and freedom. As you can see, this temple has been crippled by the ravages of war. Sad. Yeah, I kind of noticed. I'm having a hard time getting through that stuff. Will I get a gravity suit to help me out here? Because that would be kind of nice. If nothing else, I could see better. Yeah, the waters of Dark Aether. You're, you're kidding me, right? You're totally kidding. Ah, now I can scan the green ones, or as the game says, emerald. Has fancy names for all the colors. Yeah, they seek my light with great zeal, but you forget something. My zeal is greater. I am Zealous Guy. I, mean, I used to be Jealous Guy, so it's not that hard for me to turn to Zealous Guy. It only takes one letter. And energy fully replenty plen plen plenished. Alright, where's the dead guy? There he is. So this is the guy we just talked to. Or talked to us. In addition to heavy combat damage, subjects show signs of numerous in-possession attempts all failed. Resisting these assaults would require incredible stamina and psychic durability. Yeah, but he's still dead. Hey, we got 50% lore, alright. Dark Aether. In time, we created machines to open rifts to our enemy's world. Volunteer scouts went through the rifts and found a twisted world, harsh and poisonous. A Dark Aether. They discovered that this world held the missing half of our planet's energy. They also saw the true face of the enemy, a race we came to call Ing, meaning terror. Our scouts could not survive long on the surface of Dark Aether, so venomous was its air. Still, we vowed to return. We prepared for war. Yeah, you prepared. And, uh, but, uh, what can I say but be prepared? Holy shit. What was that? Did you guys hear that? Something outside. It sounded like a gunshot. Or thunder. We never get thunder around here, though. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't fireworks. Huh. I hope everything's okay out there. Because that was really loud. That actually scared me. Maybe there's some riot happening on the news right now that I'm not aware of. And, like, everybody in the world's going crazy. Do you ever think about that? Like, what if that was happening and you didn't know it was because your t you didn't happen to be watching the news at the time or something? Oh, we don't need plenty air. We could use some restock on other stuff, but... Anyway, now that we have the green module... Did I ever say hello for this episode? Yeah, I did. Sort of. But, uh... Anyway, now that we have the green... Whatchamadoohickey, we can actually go down here. Now, there are a lot of doors leading out of this room. This is the other side of the super missile door that leads to the lower path to the temple from where I just was earlier, where that energy tank was. So we'll take care of that. On the opposite side of that is also a green door, which leads to what I like to call Lower Torvis. But we don't really need to go there yet, so I'm not going to. But I just thought I'd point it out. Because it was worth pointing out. Now, there's also 
a purple door over here that we definitely can't get into right now. And then we have the actual door where we're supposed to go, which is over here. And this door won't always be here, blocking it, so you won't always know that it was the way you had to go, but chances are, you're not gonna have to go there next time. I don't know if that made any sense. Oh yay, water. I love water. What else we gotta love is missile expansions, of which we're about to get one here. Maximum missile chiring capacity by 5. What is that now? 60? I think. 65. Very nice. Oh, hi, I know you. But you know what? You don't know me. You don't owe me, and you don't know me. What is that sound I keep hearing from my computer? It's like a hissing sound. Are you still following me around, or is that something else? I think there's something in here. There's something alive in here. It's your imagination, kid. Oh, great, our war begins. Now we're going backwards in the story. We developed crystals that brought the light of Aether to the Dark World. Using these crystals allowed our warriors to explore the enemy lands to bring war to the ink. Sadly, the crystals were not enough. We needed stronger weapons, better armor. We withdrew from the Dark Aether while our greatest minds devised new engines of war. And, of course, that's pretty much the same thing that we're doing, except we're better at it. So, good on us. Then again, you pretty much wouldn't have a game if you were any worse. Or if you were the same. Oh, more Phazon tanks. I wonder if we could somehow lure an enemy next to these and then just blow them away. Actually, I don't think there are any enemies in here. Oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Speak del Diablo. Or, well, I think that was right. It doesn't seem like del would work in that. Del seems more like from than it does of, even though I know it's both. Okay, wait, I'm trying to shoot the Phazon tanks. Get out of my way. Move, 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 you idiot. No, missile them, missile them. Oh, he wasn't close enough. Damn, I tried, man, I tried. These guys are actually new, by the way. Since I didn't mention it. Pirate Commando, yeah, well, maybe now we can bring out the dark beam if we could get off our scan visor here. And... Ah, yeah, you're going nowhere. What, what, that's it? There was two of them. I don't know what happened to the other one. He must have gone off and given up. <laughs> Due to exposure to Phazon and Den's EMG. That doesn't tell me anything at all there, does it? We're, we're either going to have a really short episode here, or I have to fight the next Guardian without saving in between videos. Oh. Well, we might have some more to do here. Because we have a portal maker here. Now, if, if I recall right, there's something back there behind the portal maker that you can't get for a really long time because it used to drive me crazy. And I haven't come back here and looked at that in my practice run, which I pretty much haven't touched because I'm at the final boss on it. So, so like, I could go back and get more stuff, and I probably should because then maybe I could beat the final boss on my practice run, but I can't, so never mind. Apparently, it's out here, too. Like... There's something out there. I don't think it's there in the dark world, but the sky looks nice and purple. The sky turned red over in Aegon after we brought the energy back to it. Well, remember what they said about the waters of Dark Aegon? They're very poisonous. So if you see water in dark, or I mean Dark Torvis, so if you see water, avoid it at all costs because it will muck you up. It will most definitely do that. It's not going to be pleasant. That's right, we do have to be in the dark world to fight this boss, which I don't want to do, but oh my god. So, let's see. Um, what's my next... Is it right there? Yeah, it looks like it. Well, that didn't take so long at all, but it's worth looking around, now that you actually can. You know, without getting your... Without getting... Oh, god, don't even get me started on those things. I hate those freaking things. Ah, uh, let me go ahead and get them now. These things are the worst enemy in the whole freaking game. I'll tell you that right now. Because there's like literally... Okay, Hunter Ing, Elite Warriors of the Ing Horde. Phasing Shapeshifter, Deadly in Close Combat, Dislikes Bright Light. So basically the only way to kill them, at least the only good way, is to hit a sphere like this, and then bink, make them come into it. The only thing is, you can't make them come into it because you don't control them. Otherwise, I've seen, unless you get, like, right up in their face with super missiles, maybe, there really is no good way to kill them. Or, almost no way to kill them, period. Hmm. 
It's a good thing I looked to my left there. 2637. Do I stop the video there, or do I just go? Because I don't know, it's not like I'm... I mean, I am a little worried about this boss, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. Hmm. We can probably do it. It doesn't take that long. Of course, now that I saved, that pretty much means that I can't, like, start the recording over if I mess it up. Which, why would I want to do that anyway? I don't plan to do anything like that. Hmm. Oh, object in a state dimensional fucks. We've heard it all before. Another interesting thing about these guys is if you kill them, they actually turn into a light zone when they die. So, that's kind of cool. There I go again, switching to the wrong gun. Uh, they don't they don't call this place Dark Aether for nothing, because it's definitely dark. Aw, oh, damn. And as you can see by the bridge, now we can't get back. And we couldn't go fast enough to get over it before it disintegrated, so... Can you guess what kind of power-up we're going to be getting on the way in here? Well, you're about to find out, and there's a key to the Dark Torvus Temple. As you may have guessed, we'll need to get three more keys to get to the temple here. Which is not exactly a pleasant thing. Fortunately, the keys are really easy to find here, though. <laughs> I love how the music sounds like it's laughing there for a second. It's like... <laughs> oh, I didn't need those missiles anyway. Okay, let's do this. We only got so much time here. This is the Boost Guardian. And he will kick you with his boots, most definitely. You don't have a lot of time, because there's no safe zones here. Literally, no safe zones whatsoever. So, um... Yeah, possession, go for it. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and charge up my light beam here. So he's gonna go in and out of puddle form, and then you're gonna have to basically... Just, uh... It kind of helps if you try to stay close to him, because then he's less likely to go into his other form, which is real nasty. Yeah, it's the boost ball form. But what I like to do, I mean, I think what they want you to do here is actually turn into a ball and try to dodge him that way. I like to stay out of ball form. Oh, wait, wait, no, but except for when he does this, though. Because you will actually have to go into ball form to get him to turn back to his other form. Ah. You see that ultra energy I picked up just now? I didn't... Well, it's good that I did pick it up, but at the same time, I may not have needed to that soon, whatever. But yeah, laying bombs is the only way you get this guy back out of his form here. So, but yeah, sometimes I like I just, oh shit, what were the odds of that? Good lord, man. He might actually, uh, uh no, we're not, we're okay. Oh, get out of here, why, why did you take so long to respond to that? Yeah, and it takes so many bombs to get him back to his form again. It's ridiculous. Just sit through three rounds of that boosting, and stop... Oh, boy. There's two ways you can do this. You can do this with super missiles, or charge light shots. Either way is good. Oh, yeah, okay, apparently we're back to this again. But I find the double jumping does quite a bit of... does keep you out of his range, for the most part. And if you manage to somehow get lucky enough to hit him with a bomb while he's racing around like this... It will take him out of the... or back to, like, the puddle form, so that you can bomb that to get him back to form number one. So it's kind of... Yeah, he's knocking me all over the place. He's knocking my balls all over the place, man! I'm just gonna go for that energy, because I don't even care. If you manage to get him to hit one of the columns, it always drops an ultra energy, but it's pretty rare. Well, it's not rare, it's just... It's hard to do on purpose, it's all... And then you got, like, the little inglets always going around messing you up, too. So how about you stop that all that nastiness here? Ooh. Bombs, a surprisingly fatal weapon against the inglets. Only in this case. Well, this is the only case where you would ever really be fighting inglets with bombs, I guess, so... If we can get them on this round, we'd be good. Fortunately, it just puts you right there next to him. Oh, stay close to him, stay close to him so he doesn't go into that other form again. I don't think it matters at this point. I don't think there's any way I'm gonna... Well, what do you know? <laughs> okay. I guess that could have been worse. Or we could try it now. 
Splish splash, I was taking a boost. The worst part is it's entirely possible to die here after you beat the boss. Just because of the circumstances here, no safe zones, no nothing. You don't have shit here. So if you don't have the dark suit, you're pretty fucked. And you don't you pretty much have to have five energy tanks at that point to even have a chance against him without the dark suit. But that would be the worst part of a no dark suit run, would be this guardian. So you know what's hilarious about this actually is that the president of the oh, I don't know if it was the president, but one of the big guys up at you know, the company who made this game, Retro Studios, couldn't actually beat this boss. Which I think is hilarious. He had to put it like on debug mode or something. It's really pretty funny. I don't know. Oh yeah. And since we're on a half pipe here, I guess we can go ahead and get this key that we saw here. Whoops. Alright, surely you can get that now. There we go. I always found it peculiar that you could pick up stuff as a ball. Because it's like, you have no hands when you're a ball. So how exactly are you picking it up? Is Samus just reaching out from her ball form to... You know, do stuff? Oh, yeah, I forget there's platforms there. Shit. There we go. This is a nice, nasty little part of Dark Aether, I'll tell you what. Ing Bioman, a present in Subject. Subject was in the final stages of Ing possession when her life signs went critical. Subject's death was fatal to the Ing as well. Yeah! Well, good. At least it killed the Ing. We already had one like that, though. It killed the Parasite. But whatever. Okay, so now, pay attention here, because, as you remember, that bridge disintegrated under us and we had no way back. So you will have to boost to get back out of this area. Which is a little bit of a pain in the ass, but, yeah. Boosting is fun, though, I will say. I mean, morph balling is already fun, but boosting as a morph ball, that's just completely awesome. And now we're back in the save room again, and this is what the water does to you. Ugh, yeah, it brings you down pretty fast, so don't do that. Okay, so I guess that's all for this episode. Thanks, guys, for watching, and we'll see you next time on Let's Play Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Goodbye.